In this example, the cue ball and 10 ball are aligned with the edge of the paper, and the 12 ball is on the paper providing an obstacle. With no swerve or cue ball jump, the 10 ball can only be hit squarely by the cue ball along the line of the paper. However, if we use swerve and throw, we can send the 10 ball quite a bit to the right of the line of the paper. With this first shot, the cue ball squirts to the right more than it swerves to the left, but the throw manages to send the 10 ball to the right, and the cue ball also ends up to the right at the paper's edge. Here the cue ball squirts out slightly more than it swerves back, but the throwing force makes the cue ball stay in place as the 10 ball heads to the right of the paper's edge. This is how you achieve the most effective throw. The swerve curves the cue ball back more than it squirted out, and the throw sends the 10 ball well to the right of the paper's edge. You'll note that the cue ball actually drifts to the left on this shot.